Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll see an examples for a truth tables. So in our previous session, we have seen what are the different, what is a truth table and we have seen the truth table for all the connectives like conjunction, disjunction, implies, biconditional, exclusive disjunction, NAND, NOR, right? So now we'll see a few examples for truth tables. So for that truth tables, we need some formula. So that formula is also called as a compound propositions, right? Now we'll see the truth tables. For compound propositions. So first one, P and P or Q. So first we have to find out how many propositions, how many simple propositions are there in this compound proposition. So with with respect to that many simple propositions, the combination should be there. So the number of propositions are two. So the combinations should be 2 power 2. 2 power 2. So we'll write all the propositions. So P, Q, and then we'll find P or Q, and then P and P or Q. So we will write the combinations. So true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. So first we need to find out this P or Q. So we know that P or Q means it's a disjunction. So whenever, if the result, the truth value of either proposition is true, obviously it will be true. So P or Q will be true, true and false, true, false, true, true, false, false, false. And now we have to perform conjunction between P and this one. So this and this one, right? P and P or Q. So T and 2. We know that if in either proposition truth value is false, the result will be false. So T and T, it will be true. T and T, it will be true. False and true. False, false and false, false. So the truth table for this compound proposition or we can also say it as a statement formula. Okay, so this we can call it as a compound proposition or statement formula. Compound proposition or a statement formula. So what we have to do? So we have to write every combination and this is the final truth value for all the combinations right true true false and false so now we'll see the one more uh, example for this compound proposition or a statement formula so first we'll write the formula and then we'll use so p and q or negation p and negation q so we'll see this one we have to find out the truth value for this particular compound proposition so how many propositions how many propositions two propositions p and q so the combinations will be four so i'll write here p q and we need to find out negation p negation q p and q negation p and negation q and finally p and q or negation p and negation q right so this table we need to fill out so two propositions those there will be four combinations so true 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 false false true false false okay now let us check. Negation of P, which is false. Here also true, so it's false. Here false, it's true, it's true. And negation of Q is false, true, false, true. P and Q. So P and Q means it's a conjunction, right? 
So T T both are true, so it is true. True false, 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 true, false, 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 false. Now negation P and negation Q. False, 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 true, false, false, true, false, true, true, true. Now we need to perform the OR operation between these two so that we'll be getting the result this one, right? So true and false, it's a OR, so true, false and false, it will be false. And again, false and false, it will be false, false and true, it will be true. So this is the truth table for this particular compound proposition. Okay, right? Yes, so we'll see one more example. Let us take one more example and let us solve it. See, P and Q or R. So let us take the truth table for this compound proposition. So here, how many propositions are there? Three. So the combinations will be 2 power 3, which is 8. 8 propositions. I mean, 8 combinations, not propositions, combinations. So we need to write 8 combinations for all these things. So let us write here P. Q, R, okay, P, Q, R, and then Q, R, R, and finally P and Q, R, R. So, how to fill the, how to fill all the combinations? So, simple, there are three, three propositions. Let us consider our 4, 2, 1 rule. So, the binary representation, okay, the binary representation. So, eight combinations. So we have to write from 0 to 8, 0 to 8, binary representations, okay, binary representation, sorry, 0 to 7, 0 to 7, consider 1 as true and 0 as false, so start with 7, okay, start with 7, so let us take here 4, 2, 1, 7 means true, 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 6, True, true, false. Five. True, false, true. Four. True, false, false. Three. False, true, true. Two. False, true, false. One. Again, false, false, true. 0, false, false, false. Hope you understood. So just remembering the binary values. Okay. So just for writing out the binary values from 7 to 0. Okay. Imagine 1 with true, 0 with false. Simple. Okay. So 4, 2, 1. So if you want to write 7, all the 3 should be true. So true, true, true. If I want to get a 5, so 4 and 1 should be true, Q must be false. So the same thing happens here. So in such a way, you can write all the combinations. If, if you are having a four propositions, you need to write 16 combinations. So use the same rule. So use 8, 4, 2, 1 for a 16 combinations. So from 15 to 0. Okay, from 15 to 0. Write down all the combinations, binary values. Okay, now it will be easy for calculating these two, right? So Q versus R, Q, R, R. So true and true. True. True and false, true, false and true, true, false and false, false, true and true, true, true and false, true, false and true, true, false and false, false. This is a Q or R. Now we have to apply conjunction for P and Q versus R, I mean Q or R. So we have to apply for P and this one. So P and T, true. P and T, again it's true, again true and true, true, again true and false, it's a false because for conjunction, if any one proposition value is false, the, remain, the uh, result will be false. Now, false and true, false, false and true, false, false and true, false, false and false, false. So, this is the 
truth value for all the combinations for this particular compound proposition compound proposition right so hope you understood this one so very simple so we need to know the truth values truth truth tables for all the connectives so that we can easily write the truth table for any kind of compound propositions so you need to write each and everything and one thing we have to be take care of is how many number of combinations we have to write so for example so for example let us take one more simple compound uh, proposition c i tell you p or negation p so this is also a compound proposition because here we are using connective here we are using connective between two propositions right so that implies this is also a compound proposition so how many propositions are there here in this compound proposition simple propositions only one simple proposition right only one simple proposition so how many combinations it will require only 2 power 1 so you can write it as p negation p p or negation p so the combinations will be either true or false that's it so if it is true negation p is false if it is false the negation p is true now p or negation p t or f which is true false true again it's true so this is a simple truth table for this compound proposition so the important thing is how many combinations we need to find out so that depends upon the number of simple propositions involved in our compound proposition or a statement formula. So first we have to find out that and then based upon that we need to write all the combinations and then we have to uh, find the truth table, the truth values for all the combinations. Right. So hope you understood this one and enjoyed the session and I'll stop here if you are having any doubt regarding this one or if you feel any difficulty to solve any kind of uh, compound propositions feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely I'll try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much